Happy holidays, everybody. Good morning. It is, what day is it? Thursday, Thursday. the 11th. No, 20 past 10. AM. I've been up since three o'clock. Yeah, got me up at 10, 20 past three this morning. Because he's excited. Mega excited. Just putting my slippers on because I don't intend on getting out again today. We're going on our very f first wild camp. Yeah, only for one night. Just to try his eggs. He's seven years old. Well, you bought gluten free. That's all they had. I don't want one yet. Bloody phone just fell off the bloody window, isn't it? Oh, bloody believable. It is. And where were we? Um, I yes, don't know. We're, going, we're going on our very first wild camp. I'm just watching that lady outside of me opening the door. Yeah, because we are at Tesco's. Yeah. And it's women parking. I shouldn't be saying that, should I? I'm not saying anything at all. Now a lot of ladies can't park, can't reverse. Can't drive. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Uh, no, it's true. Like, well, there's a lot of men that can't. It's very true. Uh, yes, we're not going to tell you where we're going just yet. No. You'll see when we get there. Another 130 quid gone in Tesco's. Three bottles of gin later. That's only what I was spent back at home though, isn't it? And... I bought, bought a bottle of mulled wine because I love mulled wine and it's getting close to Christmas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll just bloody sandwich. Don't. Before I forget, I'd like to say a massive hello to Amber and Pete. Amber and Pete, how are you doing? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go, you can do it well. Oh, Nick, Nick Oh, and Amber and Pete are going to buy a, a motorhome soon, I think. So. Yes. Good luck with that. Uh, Nick Alfrey said, can we give his wife a birthday shout out for the 22nd of November? Tell her how much he loves her. What's her and, name? And uh, he might get a snog if he tells us. What's her name? Rachel. Happy birthday, Rachel. <sighs> give him a snog. I don't know what's going on in my hair today. I don't know. Should we crack on anyway? You're bloody rambling on again. Let's go. You can't whack it, but you really can't whack it. We're at Tesco's at the moment, so it's not very interesting. Look, we're in a video tonight. Shut up, Robert. Tonight, tonight. tonight. Feels like tonight, how long have we been up? To be honest, it does. Early to bed tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no <laughs> snog. <laughs> in a bit. Well, you don't see it that every day, do you? There's a truck. Can you get any closer? Oh, yeah, we push the car in front of the way. Well, on this... It's unbelievable. On this, this truck, what is it, pickle? There's an elephant and a giraffe. How do you know it's a giraffe? Oh, it's got long legs, it looks like a giraffe. Is it male or female? Shut up, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very... Uh... I think there's been an accident up here, so we all stop. Yeah, there's a police car up here, look, you can see it flashing lights. And then, so the elephants wanted to come in front of you. Yeah. Yep, so they're strapped down well. There we go. That might be a bit cold. Yeah. So where do you want to park? 
park with your princess. I really don't mind. Oh dear, I'm gonna have no van lift here. Looks okay here on the left. What, just there? Yeah, where it looks pretty flat. Yeah, but we don't have the door on that side, do we? What the door on the, that side? The door will be this side. Just do it, put it there. Yeah, I want the door so we walk out to the... We'll get set up, people. We're here, people. We are at your never guess in a million years. I think a lot of people do, would. Would they? Well, I just said the A303. Yeah. So. Have a look at this. Stonehenge. And I can't see nothing, but it's over there somewhere. See the stones? Right, it's going to be dark now, people. What time is it? It's not that late. It's, it's 25 to 3. It's, it's way past our bedtime. No, we've been up 12 hours yeah. nearly. So we're just going to have a see, see if there's a cheap way of getting into the stones. Probably not, but yeah. we'll crack on and have a look. Well, I've been told there's a gate down here, so let's go. Yeah, let's crack on. Right, so there's a shuttle service there, which we don't know where it, go where it goes. But they seem to be picking people up from up there and taking them into the stone. So, yeah, and there's lots of folks about. There is, and we're just trying to find the way that we go that's free. I don't think there is one. There is. Well, let's go and have a look anyway. Okay. So, there's the opening times people on there, on that board. English Heritage Stonehenge. Half nine till... Five until the 28th of May, then seven until the 31st of August, and then five again until the 31st of March. And the lovely lady, because you can only go in that way. If you're paying. If you're paying. The lovely lady over there has said, if we follow this path, we can go through that way. So let's have a look, Let's crack on. We are parked up the track there, and then you walk down there, which is, I'd say, was about, I don't know, five minutes. If yeah, that. five minutes, if that. You've got a gateway here, and then you walk through the gate, and obviously. You've got full timers that live here permanently. What, what was that, my little fruit gate? Full timers that live here permanently. Yes, down, down that way, apparently. I'll zoom in a little bit, I don't want to go down there and disturb anybody. But yeah, apparently they live down there. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go and have a look down this track. You're oh, looking very pretty today, my little fruit Shut up, Robert. Are you glad I bought you to Stonehenge? Yes. I'm or loving for it. Nothing as I'm well. loving it. It's cost us a fortune in diesel, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not going to talk about that, are we? No. Yes, so you uh, pass through another gate there. A little princess look. And the stones are just right there. How awesome is it? Absolutely amazing. Yeah. How much is it in there, though? £21.15 each. £21.50 each. So that's just to get. £43 I've saved you. Just to get, I don't know, within 20 foot of them? Yeah, because you can't touch them. No, you can't touch them. Because you'll damage them by the yeah. your skin. And that's the what stone, the lone stone? The lonely stone. The lonely stone, okay. Come on, let's go and have a look at the lone. That's me, that is. That's what they used to call me, it's called Lonely Rob. What are you laughing at? You. This is the lonely stone, isn't it? Yes. There it is, look, folks. One stone on its own. Now, what I think what's happened. They couldn't be bothered to carry it any further. Exactly. <laughs> I no. think they carried it from over yonder. Okay? And they got here and they thought, stuff it and just dumped it there because it's gin and tonic no. time. Apparently, Stonehenge was loads bigger than this. Was it? Yes, it was spread out loads more. And if you look around, there's, I don't know, there's all little mounds in the distance over there yes and there's some over there but it was massive apparently what I've researched there's all lumps there's and bumps here, everywhere oh yeah there's one over there as well and yeah. the midsummer sunrise it comes up from that way does it? yes how do you know that? because there's a bloody great big arrow there look that says midsummer sunrise oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> there you go what's that say? Oh, oh, that's the same, that's the same. Yeah. No, it can't do it. It's pointing Don't. that way. It's got to be winter sunset. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't read it. Anyway, so, I don't know what it is. Well, there you go. 
I don't know. I, I mean, what's going on with it? What's it all about, anyway? I don't know. You have to research it, won't you? I don't do researching. This gentleman would tell you, but I think you have to pay for this. Yeah, yeah. I don't really charge him any money. Let's crack on, eh? Beautiful, beautiful place. Peaceful, solemn. Solemn? Is that the word? No. What's the word then? It's very atmospheric. That's the one I was looking for. What did I say? Solemn. Bloody hell, something wrong with me, isn't there? Just, just thought about that. Yeah. Well, that's definitely what's happened there. They couldn't be bothered to carry that one over there, so they just dumped it. That's all I think, anyway. Let's crack on. Beautiful. Just like me. I've had no idea, my little princess. What's that? Well, what we could do now, right? Yeah. Because the stones are just there, look. What we could do is get the roll out, out get the chairs out, and look each each other. Shut up, Robert, I'm gonna knock you out. Unbelievable, isn't it? Just, is it's trying to be romantic. And how are the vehicles gonna get past? Then go under the awning. Shut up, Robert. Okay, I'll try it anyway, folks. Right, we've settled down for the night, people. What, you have? I'm just preparing tea, as you can see. Yeah, even off grid, I'm still spoiling you by cooking for you. What are we having tonight? Chicken fajitas. You can't whack it. A bit of wild camping, a nice hearty meal, a couple of gin and tonics. What more could you ask for? Then I can't see your face. You don't want to see it. Yes, I do. Let's have a look. <laughs> so crack on. Yeah, crack on. You sit down. Enjoy your gin. Thank you. <sighs> well, I've had a lovely meal, people, which you see, you, which you saw I've uh, prepared. That'll well, I helped. The, that'll be the day. I helped. That'll be the day. So anyway, what do you think about your wild first night of wild camping at Stonehenge? Well, it's ten o'clock at night, so we've had a we've had a lovely meal. The dogs have been out. We're all locked up. Uh, and the road noise can still hear it. It's not as bad Slightly as it was. Slightly doesn't. Nah, it's, nah, it's nothing. Um, I mean, what do you expect for nothing? I absolutely love it, to be honest. Yeah, I do. So, would you do it again? I don't know. I'll let you know in the morning. Why? Well, we've got to go. To, we're going to go to bed now. Put a film on because we've been listening to the radio and whatever. So, yeah, yeah I'll uh, we'll see how we, we feel or I feel because I know you'll be fine. It's I'm sure you'll be fine. See how I feel in the morning. The only thing, one thing I can say. Go on then. Is about any time today. We're to work Tuesday. About the amount of rubbish that we've accumulated. I've cooked them all. As I've done is chicken for heaters. So I've got the packaging of the chicken and whatever. Um, some a few tonic bottles. <laughs> a few. Yeah, so I think what she's trying to say is I make can't. sure you've got plenty of room in your garage to take your rubbish away because you're going to need it, to be honest. Yeah, I oh. mean, we've half filled one of the white bin bags that mm. I use. So it's going to be a bin bag a night, to be honest. Not a massive one, you know, no. pickle bin liner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's that. Um, make sure you bring water. Make sure your batteries are full. I mean, we've bought the Jackery and the Power Oak. I mean, I know it's for one night. I think I've just been gone a bit over the top, haven't I? As you do. But this be safe than sorry. Um, yeah, so we'll see you in the morning and let you know how I've slept because I'm uh, 
I should sleep well, being as the idiot got me up at 20 past three this morning. I was dead excited, people. You can't whack this but life. It's what, amazing. What a place for a park up. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for our first, first wall camping, couldn't have picked a better place. Absolutely stunning. Yes, yeah, so uh, thanks for that, Mr. Stephen Price from uh, Miranda in Manx. Yeah. Who recommended it to us, which we appreciate oh, greatly. Oh, massively. It's, uh, I know a lot of you have done it. But for, for any of you that haven't and you want to give it a go... Give well, it a go, people. I'll let you know in the morning. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, we've got lights. We haven't put the heating on yet because... Well, I've just sh shoved my sweatshirt on. It is 10 degrees outside. 10 degrees? That's warm. Well, it is. That's it's very, bikini it is. weather. It, what are you going to get yours on? No, not on us. I'll have a monkey in your dome. Thank God for that. Um, yeah, we haven't put any heating on yet, but if we needed it, we would. Yeah. Got loads of gas, all stocked up ready, um, which you need to be when you're while yeah, camping. But we're, we're only doing one night. Yes. I'll, but to be time, honest... I wish we were doing more. Yeah. Well, I'll let you know in the morning. So two, two or three nights, I could do this no problem at all. Yeah. So good night. Have, Have a great night. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the morning. We'll, we will see you in the morning. You can't whack it. We'll see. Happy holidays. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning. Our first night morning of wild camping. What? First morning after the night of wall camping. Yeah, got up at stupid o'clock again, didn't we? Hey up, lad. <laughs> Shut up, Robert. <laughs> so, what did you think? Get it off, you plonker, Rodney. What did you think? What? Oh, well, I slept well. I slept really well, to be honest. Until three o'clock. Uh, the windscreen's absolutely covered in condensation because I didn't put the silver screen on. Because it's raining. Well, because I was worried to get pinched. How's it going to get <laughs> pinched when they've got to open the door? <laughs> no, no, I... I loved it. Yeah, it was good, really. Yeah. We will definitely be doing it again, definitely. And I definitely want to come back here, probably in the summer. I know you can't come at summer solstice or winter solstice. It's closed. Mm. It's the only times of the year it is closed. But yes, 100%. Yeah, if, you, it. if you can find the uh, the right spot, I'd, I'd highly recommend it, to be honest. Yeah, looking forward to doing a bit of this in Scotland. There's going to be some beautiful places, I think, up there. Let's hope so, eh? Yeah, it's been good. So, yeah, it's onwards and upwards. We're going to Cambridge now and meeting up with some friends. Yeah. For, um, no, about, no doubt, some more... It's going to be messy. ...alcohol-infused <laughs> evenings. yeah. But uh, yeah, back to wall camping. I think it's amazing. Any you can't whack a bit of wall camping. The only, the only drawbacks we've had is we've had to bring our tortoise with us because did I say this last night? I think so. Yeah, because there's nobody around to look after him at the moment. Yeah. And I put him on a heat mat, and it's drained the jackery. We've had to charge the jackery up from the power oak because for some reason the heat mat isn't working by plugging it into the two forty in the jack in the power oak. For that some reason. Sense. I don't know. We'll have to have a look at it later. I'll get to the bottom of it, though. But we made a mistake. We didn't charge the jackery up before we came away. No. So it drained that out. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's one of them, isn't it? It's been good. Yeah. yeah. Cooked. Had a nice meal. But it's all right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, so we're on to our next adventure now, people. We hope you're having a cracking weekend. Yeah, I know... Go to, a, go to a site so I can have a shower and wash my hair. I don't smell. <laughs> Not yet anyway, but I might if I carry on like this. Yeah, and it, actually, yeah, where we're parked, it was uh, quite quiet all night, wasn't it? Yeah, to say we've got the busy A303 A A running past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, It was a lot quieter than I thought it was going to be. It was a lot quieter than where we were in lockdown. No, I meant people driving up oh. down the track. No, I... No, well, there's a big lorry just down from us, a big blue camper lorry thing. Con conversion. Yeah, um, didn't hear that come, so I must have slept well. Yeah. Didn't have no worries at all. No. Brilliant. Yeah, highly recommended. Yeah. So, yeah, that was our first wild camping experience. Not to be the last. You're looking very pretty today. Shut up, Robert. Too early. <sighs> Although I feel like I've been up 
forever. It is five to eight. Half past three, I was up like a log. Half past three. You was up at bloody four o'clock. Only because I had to, because you you were making that much noise. I was noise. sitting here minding my own business, watching the stones. You weren't, you got you And I'm sure on. one of them's moved in the night. So yeah, that's that's it for today. Yep. We will be back in a couple of days. Yeah. Um, from our new the campsite where we're going to. Yeah. So uh, stay safe, fellow caravanners, motorhomers, tenters, drifters, subscribers, old and new. We still love you. We and do. if you come across this channel, please give us a thumbs up. Give us subscribe a like. if you haven't, because it's all free. And I'll see you again. Yeah. In a bit.